I'm about to say something I haven't said since 2014. This is absolutely, hands down, the knife of the year. I know, I know, that was one hell of a bold statement to open this video up with, but bear with me, and I'm going to explain that to you in a second. What we're going to take a look at here, everybody, is the Peter Recenti and Custom Knife Factory collaboration, the Snafu 2.0. This is as amazing of a knife as you could possibly ever hope for. The last time I said that this is the knife of the year. I have not said that, I don't believe it at all, since 2014, five years ago, good friends. And that was with the Ramon Chavez Redencian, the very first folder that he put out. Back at a time where, unless you were in a small group of fanatics, you didn't even know who Ramon Chavez was. You didn't know what the, the Redencian was. Mine was uh, prototype number 10. And... From that very early stage, I said, this knife is going to wow people. It's going to amaze people. And Ramon is going to be a friggin' superstar. And I was right. It was. He is. And I have not really laid that heavy of an accolade onto a knife until now. And you guys know, if you've been following my channel for any length of time, I am a monster fan of Custom Knife Factory. I have owned the majority of the knives that they have made. I have done videos on all of them and have always been impressed and they continue to get better and better and better. And especially when you get into the more premium price points like this, this one's going to be about $675, they throw everything at it and it is as perfect of a knife as it possibly can be. As a matter of fact, I want you to go back, go back in your old time machine, go way back in my videos about six years ago where I reviewed a custom Peter Recenti Snafu. I want you to take a good look at that knife. As amazing as Peter's work is, it is still a hand, excuse me, a handmade custom knife. And with that, there are going to be certain little inconsistencies from knife to knife. With this being a production variation, it is flat out flawless and every knife from knife to knife to knife will share and exhibit the same flawless qualities why on earth do you think you need this knife well number one it is an integral this is a solid block of titanium that has been milled out to accept the blade I can't even begin to describe to you how difficult it is to make an integral knife because you're not sandwiching two pieces together you don't have the I don't want to say that it's easier but you don't have a backspacer that you can tweak and tune and adjust you don't have the luxury of being able to lay your bearings into the pockets and do this and do this and do that and then gently put everything together and it falls in place you have this much room to do all of your work you have taken one solid piece of titanium, as you can see right here, and you've milled everything out of the inside of it. And you're making all of the folder-esque components work within that. It is not an easy task. It's not something I would ever want to try. And Custom Knife Factory has done it very, very well. Peter has been doing that for many, many years. Uh, he is considered to be one of the finest 
integral makers in the industry. His snafu design has inspired a lot of other knife makers and it's gotten a lot of people into the custom knife world as buyers and collectors. There is Peter's logo right there. And for Custom Knife Factory to come out and make this knife and to do it so well, I could not be more impressed. Let's talk about some specs first. You're looking at 8.82 inches in overall length with a 3.82 inch blade. It is an M390 blade with a vapor blasted finish. So if you look at the primary bevel and you look at the swedge up top, as well as inside of the fuller that is all vapor blasted then they've gone over the flats and done a hand rub satin to give you a nice light contrast I love the smooth look of a vapor blasted blade it is absolutely gorgeous it's so clean and so sterile looking just amazing uh, so continuing on with the specs my apologies so M390 blade compound grind uh, they're calling the blade finish CKF wash again that is the uh, uh, excuse me the the vapor blasting handle length is five inches it is all one piece of titanium it weighs five and a half ounces which is actually fairly lightweight for the size of knife that it is and um, I do believe if I'm not mistaken it's gonna once again have ceramic internals so ceramic bearings and ceramic detent uh, I have not found that out yet again this knife has not been released yet so I don't know that for certain I'm going to guess that and last I was told they're only gonna offer 400 of these for the world period that's it now when I say that this knife is so good that it should be knife of the year here's what I mean number one the design is absolutely gorgeous it's a classic look from Peter that we've known for many 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 years I've been a fan of the snafus for as long as I've ever seen them since the very first one I ever saw I love the shape of the blade I love the usefulness of the blade it has a very massively tall blade for how slim the knife itself actually is it is a little bit front heavy with that blade but it looks and feels and performs incredibly I've had this knife about two weeks now and I've carried it nearly every day I've had a really hard time trying to put anything else in my pocket because I've enjoyed it just that much and it's done everything I've asked it to do and that vapor finish I mean look how clean that is it almost looks like the knife is completely unused I mean yeah I've cleaned it off and everything and used EDCI on it but that's it it's really good for masking minor wear there are the massive blade stops they are running external blade stops it's something that Peter does on the custom doubles as thumb studs by the way and then you have that custom I don't know if it's Mokutai or Timascus I'm gonna guess that it's Mokutai uh, pivot collar it's a nice little addition that doesn't go overboard on this knife everything about this knife is clean and simple nothing overdone it's just that one extra little pop that adds a little bit of extra beauty to it uh, you have the grooves that are milled into the titanium frame there's the jimping for reverse grip on the back side titanium pocket clip pocket clip is perfect by the way not too light not too tight it'll go right into a pair of jeans no problem whatsoever and you're not struggling to get it in or out and it feels very very secure there is the steel on steel lockup the steel lock bar insert and there is an integrated over travel stop built in there as well so you're not going to overextend that lock bar there's the lock up for you I've already got a mark on it yeah that's all right I've been carrying the hell out of this thing the way that it feels in the hand here's what's funny about this knife 
it's fairly slim in this direction and very slim in this direction so it feels like a much smaller knife than you think it is and then there's this massive blade that comes sticking out it's a wonderful juxtaposition it doesn't feel terribly imbalanced and it certainly as you look at it doesn't look visually imbalanced at all but it's the way that that's done with the relief here and the thinness of everything that you're holding on to it and you feel like you've got a much smaller knife in your hand and then that monster blade is just sticking out and you know it means business it looks like it means business and it feels like it means business and as always custom knife factory has just perfectly nailed that action you couldn't ask for a smoother or cleaner action or a nicer detent I mean that detent it's not so hard that it feels like you're breaking your finger to get to it but it's perfect every single time even opening it up vertically just perfect all the machining on this is cleaned up beautifully there are no tool marks anywhere that I can see and again now I'm putting it in HD there could be something in there I couldn't see with my name my naked eyes but my naked eyes picked up nothing inside of this knife it's just beautifully done there may be a little bit of pocket lint in there because I have been carrying it but other than that it should be nice and clean I think it's one of the nicest designs that uh, the custom knife factory has jumped into lately they're doing a lot of different uh, working with a lot of different makers right now they just did a, a really really great collaboration with uh, with tough knives with Jeff uh, Jeff Blauvelt love that that came out fantastic they've been doing so many they're even doing mine I'm, I'm taking one of my fixed blade models and uh, we have worked together to convert that into a flipper it's going to be a, an entirely different knife but I, I chose to make it a lot more complex than it needed to be so there's a there's a lot of work going into the build and they're they're the brand that I trusted with that because their fit and finish their quality control is among the best I've ever seen out of anybody in existence even companies that have been doing this for you know 50 years custom knife factory very very quickly almost from the very first knife they ever did has just nailed everything and it's easy to see why big designers like Peter trust their designs in their hands because they know they're going to get treated fairly with a quality product that their name is uh, is engraved into and will live forever they provide a great value listen if you are buying this as a custom and I don't know if Peter even has open books I don't believe that he does but don't quote me on that you're gonna spend considerably more to buy a custom handmade um, integral is very 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 expensive the waste time I'm sure is is quite long and they're not very accessible here yes 675 nothing to sneeze at that's still a good chunk of money however you're not gonna get a Peter Recenti integral flipper for 675 it can't be done even if your buddy is going to sell you his that he dragged behind his pickup truck for two miles he's still not going to take only 675 so that's what you're getting into you're getting into one of the premier knife makers and designers uh, in existence um, making some of really what I feel are some of the more prolific designs that a lot of other people have mimicked or ripped off here's the guy right here doing a great collaboration with a great company at what I still feel is a very affordable price when you feel the action on this knife from the very first time you open it you're gonna understand what I mean when I say this knife is about as perfect as it can be so let's get past the fact that you've got great quality materials that you've got a really sick ass grind you've got a beautiful design overall another reason I think that this should be knife of the year is the fact that it is so practical a lot of times we can't carry a knife that opens up to be this large because it takes up a lot of room in the pocket and it weighs too much and that's really just not the case here once this thing is folded up 
It's actually very compact. It's very slim. And it's surprisingly easy to carry. It has been um, record heat here in uh, Dallas. We have gone far above 100 degrees every single day for the past week. So I've been wearing shorts. I haven't been running around wearing jeans every day. So I've been wearing shorts almost every day. And the days that I wear shorts, I want something slimmer, smaller, and lighter. When I'm walking around in jeans, I don't tend to put my hands in my pockets. When I'm in shorts, however, I don't know why, but I do. My hands end up in my pockets. If I'm just standing around, having a conversation, or I'm waiting, I, I don't know. I just put my hands in my pockets for some reason. And this knife still allowed me plenty of room to get my hand in and out of the pocket uh, without really feeling like it was in the way. It didn't flop around. Obviously, your shorts, uh, you know, being shorter and looser than you would wear normal pants, you don't feel the knife flopping around as you're walking around very much like you would a much, much heavier knife. The blade profile lends itself to every style of cutting or stabbing or sticking or whatever you would need to do. There are no shortcomings to it. You even have a finger choil here, so should you need to choke up on it, I wouldn't if you have fat fingers because it is sharp all the way to the heel, all the way back on that blade, so keep that in mind. Uh, that it can absolutely cut you, but you could fingertip it, uh, or if you have more slender fingers than, uh, than I do, you won't have a problem at all. Everything about it is a practical build. It's not overly rounded and contoured, so when it's in your hand, it's not going to twist and torque, but all of the edges have been chamfered, so you don't have any hot spots digging into your hand. So it's a slab-sided piece of titanium that feels square in the hand. It's always very easy to index that blade. It's not going to get squirrely on you and move around. It's just, it's just a great practical design. You know, it's like if they took a Sabenza and made it into an, an integral, that's kind of what you got here. It is every bit as useful as a knife like that. And that's why I think that everybody, well, I can't say everybody, 400 people need to get their hands on this knife as soon as it's made available. Now, uh, today is August 25th. This knife releases, I believe, on September 5th. So in about 10 days, these are going to hit. Now, what happens typically when CKF drops a new knife? They put it on their own website which is from RussiaWithKnives.com. Have fun typing all that shit in there. From RussiaWithKnives.com, what typically happens is within an hour or two, no matter how many they've made, it sells out. So I'm going to tell you this right now. Keep an eye on Custom Knife Factory's Instagram page. Just in case I have the date incorrect, make sure of the day that it's going to drop. Make sure of the time that it's going to drop. They'll let you know days in advance again more and more and more often. And make sure you're there. Because I'm telling you right now, if you get your hands on one of these, you're going to keep it forever. It is absolutely awesome. The feel in the hand, the feel of the action, the blade style, the finish on the blade, it's just everything. It all comes together fantastically in this one piece. And I can't recall how long it's been since I've been this excited. You know, you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear it in my voice this excited about one knife I just think it's that fantastic and once you put it in your hand I promise you you're gonna come back here you're gonna go in the comments section and go yeah, yeah Jim had a reason to be excited it's every bit as good or better than what he said so trust me I promise you this is gonna be one of the most talked about knives of the year and uh, congratulations to Peter congratulations uh, to Mike over at Custom Knife Factory knocked it out of the park once again and I cannot wait to see all the new knives that are going to be coming soon as well. All right, guys, that's it for me. I'm out of here. Enjoy. Make any comments or questions you have down below. I'll do my best to try to answer them if I have time. And I will see you on the next video.